This video is a Polygon ZK EVM tutorial. The Polygon ZK EVM is a new network from Polygon. We'll look at getting this set up in a MetaMask wallet, how to actually bridge tokens to and from it, and then getting it set up with applications so you can use this network timestamps for everything below. The first thing we'll need to use any of these networks is a MetaMask wallet. And so I'm not gonna go through the setup in this video, but metamask.io, if you don't have a wallet yet and you do wanna use these networks, I've got a video in the description that goes through the setup process step-by-step step, so you can see that video, but it's metamask.io. It takes five minutes to set up a wallet. Should look something like this, and then we can get on with the tutorial. So if you don't have that, go and download it, watch that video. If you do have it, then we can get started. It's important to get clear the different Polygon networks before this tutorial. You have the proof of stake chain, you have ZK EVM chain, you have Maiden coming soon, uh, you have other networks, and then you have the Matic token. So here is that difference um, before we get started. Firstly, on the left-hand side, you have the Ethereum mainnet chain. This is the base layer. And on this chain, which is Ethereum, which is different to Polygon chains, you have the Matic token. The Matic token on here is an Ethereum token and you can use the Ethereum mainnet to stake Matic if you want to do it that way. There are other ways to stake Matic. We won't get into that in this video, but on the Ethereum mainnet, you have the Matic token uh, and you can have it on there and use the Ethereum mainnet as you want. Now to the right hand side of that, we have the Polygon proof of stake chain, which is what most people know as the Polygon chain. That is where most activity is right now and it's been around for a few years. That is not Ethereum. And so what you have to do is bridge tokens over from Ethereum onto the Polygon proof of stake chain. You can also use exchanges directly to just withdraw cryptos directly on the Polygon proof of stake chain. Most of them do support that. Now this Polygon proof of stake chain uses Matic tokens for gas. And so if you want to use applications, you need to pay gas in Matic. And you can see the Polygon proof of stake has many different types of assets on there. Uh, so we can go to the Polygon proof of stake chain, and that is the normal chain that everyone uses right now. But we also have a new chain, which is Polygon ZK EVM. Now here's the difference. The Polygon ZK EVM is a layer two network on top of Ethereum. Polygon proof of stake is a side chain, it's different. Polygon ZK EVM is an L2 on top of ETH, and so it settles down directly to Ethereum. Uh, the only differences here as well is that it actually pays ETH for gas. So if you wanna use the Polygon ZK EVM, you actually need to bridge over some Ethereum to pay for gas fees. Transactions and everything uses Ethereum for gas, but it has the ability to have all of these different tokens on there just like the others. And you can use MetaMask just the same. And if you have a ledger or a Trezor linked up to MetaMask, you should be able to use those in a normal way as well. But just to make sure that this is a completely separate network and it's on top of Ethereum and uses ETH for gas. Here's how to add the Polygon ZK EVM network to your MetaMask. The easiest way to do this is go to the Polygon main page. This is polygon.technology. I'll list everything I talk about in this video down in the description. Go over to solutions, go down to ZK EVM, and then go to the ZK EVM Explorer. So this is part of Polygon Scan. What you can see up here is that this is polygonscan.com. Now, polygonscan.com is the proof of stake chain. If you go to zkevm.polygonscan.com or just go through the way I showed you, you'll get to this one. This is the ZK EVM Explorer, and so we'll show you this. If we scroll down, you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, it just says, add ZK EVM to your MetaMask. So click this, and it will go through to add it. Now, I've already added this, and so for me, it just says, do you wanna to switch to this network that you've already added? If you haven't done, it's just gonna give you a list of the details. So it's gonna give you the RPC URL, and it's gonna give the chain ID and everything like that. You just click OK, accept, add it to my MetaMask, and that will be in. So I'm gonna cancel this off, but what we should be able to see if we go back to my MetaMask right here is that up in the top right hand corner you should now see that the Polygon ZK EVM is a network that we can switch to so if we switch to it now completely different network and I don't have any assets in here right now also important your wallet address is exactly the same because it's your MetaMask address for every network added here it's going to be the same address but we're now in the Polygon ZK EVM network now we have to get some Ethereum into our wallet so that we can pay gas fees on this network before doing anything else. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just copy my wallet address here and then make a withdrawal so I get some ETH into my wallet. Gonna go over to my Binance here and just paste in the wallet address right here. Obviously we need to get some ETH and buy that. If you don't have a Binance, I'll leave a link to them in the description uh, to a deposit bonus and trading bonus. So check the details via that link. 
I'm gonna to go to network here and you'll notice that we can't withdraw to the Polygon ZK EVM. It's not a supported network. Now for right now, the ZK EVM is a main net better. And so it's really not supported by hardly any, if any exchanges. And so we're gonna to have to do a quite a workaround with the Ethereum main net, but we'll go through that process. In due course, in the future, I'm sure the ZK EVM will be a supported network where you can just instantly withdraw um, Ethereum and other assets directly onto that chain. But for right now, we'll have to do a workaround through the Ethereum main net. So what I'm going to do is go back to my MetaMask and I'm gonna go Ethereum mainnet here and get some ETH in my account. You see, I've got some already. It's the same wallet address. So I'm just gonna copy that again um, and then go back to my uh, Binance account. And we're gonna withdraw that Ethereum on the Ethereum mainnet ERC20. It's only $2 right now. So click Ethereum mainnet, withdraw some ETH onto the Ethereum mainnet. And once that's done, that should be in your Ethereum mainnet account in MetaMask. Now we can actually bridge this over to the ZK EVM. Now that we have ETH in our Ethereum mainnet address, as you can see here, we've got some of that ETH. We need to bridge this over to the network that we want. So what we're gonna do is go back to the Polygon main page, go to solutions here, and then go to ZK EVM and ZK EVM bridge. You can also get to this by going to the Polygon wallet, which is wallet.polygon.technology. You can see the wallet suite right here. It's gonna take you through to the same page. So we can go through to this Polygon wallet, and as you can see here, this is where you bridge tokens around. So proof of stake chain, I'm gonna choose the ZK EVM chain. And you can see two options for right now, which is portfolio and bridge. So we can connect to wallet uh, and we're gonna connect our MetaMask. I'm just gonna go back to my MetaMask here, switch from Ethereum mainnet over to the Polygon ZK EVM. And then we can connect to the Polygon wallet with the ZK EVM that we want. So connect to a wallet. It's gonna bring up the options here. If you have a mobile wallet or anything else, you can connect it right here, MetaMask, and then it's connected. Now, what we're doing here is connecting our MetaMask wallet to the Polygon wallet. Uh, so that sounds a little bit crazy, but it allows you to review all of the assets that you have in your MetaMask. Or if you have a ledger or a Trezor linked up to your MetaMask, using it that way, you can of course see the balances as well. So this is actually the Polygon mainnet right here that I'm in, and I've got some assets in the proof of stake chain. I'm gonna switch over to ZK EVM. And as you can see, I should have no assets in here because these are different chains. Now you can see also the, the Polygon ZK EVM has a lot of tokens that are already bridged over. So if you wanna bridge over Matic or any of these other tokens because you need them to pay for something or to trade into something, you can bridge them over no problem from the Ethereum mainnet. Um, of course, we do need to bridge some ETH first because we need to use that for gas. So we are in the ZK EVM wallet within uh, Polygon and it is reading our balances within MetaMask. And if you have a hardware wallet linked up to MetaMask, it will be reading those balances as well. An important note, if you do have a hardware wallet, the Polygon proof of stake chain is supported within Ledger, I know for sure, which means it's a com completely different chain from Ethereum. And you can download the Polygon proof of stake app within your Ledger and then uh, accept and sign transactions that way. Because Polygon ZK EVM is a layer two on Ethereum, you may have to just use the Ethereum app when you sign transactions. So when you're signing a transaction within MetaMask, um, obviously link your ledger to your computer and it's gonna ask you to sign transactions. Just like Arbitrum and Optimism, you go directly into Ethereum application on the ledger device to sign transactions because there isn't a specific Polygon ZK EVM application. So if you're seeing that is an issue for you, go into the Ethereum app because there isn't a ZK EVM app on a ledger and it's gonna be similar for a Trezor, I think. We can now use the bridge to get some assets from our Ethereum mainnet over to Polygon ZK EVM. So come down to bridge and then choose the asset that you want to transfer over. Any asset that is supported, you can bridge over, uh, but ETH is the gas token. So we're going to do that for this example. Um, so we're going to type in 0.01 ETH to bridge over. Now the amount that you want to bridge, that is um, X gas fees. So 0.01 is the amount that I want to bridge over. That's what I'm going to send. There may be some extra gas fees on top of that, but you can see that in the transaction details before you actually press OK. I'm going to press I understand here. This is important. Polygon ZK EVM is brand new at the moment and so is in mainnet beta or mainnet beta phase. Uh, so just understand that it's still a new network and there may be some issues. So bridge over what you're comfortable kind of playing around with for now. 
I'm gonna click bridge to ZK EVM. Uh, and as you can see, it's gonna estimate the gas fees for me around 13 bucks, but we can see that before we actually transfer. So I'm gonna press bridge to, e to ZK EVM. It's probably gonna switch my network back to the Ethereum mainnet right here because that's where you have to sign the transaction because that's where you have those assets. Um, it's probably going to go through and check that and then show me what my gas is. So the gas is $7 here. That's fine with me. The total is around $26 that I'm uh, transferring, which is the amount I want to transfer plus the gas. Like it says here, I think that's going to take maybe 10 minutes or so to actually transfer. Um, so that's confirming the transaction first on the Ethereum mainnet. Once that's actually confirmed, which looks to be happening right now, um, up in here, you can see there is 0.01 ETH from Ethereum mainnet, and that is being transferred over to the ZK EVM, and that is pending. So it looks like from the Ethereum end, that's been confirmed as a transaction, and that's just, just gonna take around about 15 minutes to actually um, be arrived on the ZK EVM network. Whilst we're waiting for the ETH to be bridged over, it's also important to know that all of the tokens on the ZK EVM are not the same as on uh, the proof of stake chain or Ethereum mainnet. And so you have to add them all separately again into your MetaMask. So they're gonna have different contract addresses. Go to CoinGecko, choose an asset that you wanna add. I'm gonna choose Tether here. Uh, then on the top right, just click the uh, drop down, and you can see the Polygon ZK EVM contract address. I'm gonna copy that, go back to my MetaMask, gonna import this token, gonna paste this in right here. And it says USDT, it's recognized, add custom token, no balance for right now, but I can add that to my MetaMask and there it is. So that's on the Polygon ZK EVM network. It's a different contract address, but any tokens that you bridge over, just import them into your MetaMask like that. Now it looks like the Ethereum mainnet has succeeded with that transaction. So this button comes up, claim transaction. So we're gonna click on this right here and it says waiting for confirmation. That will take you through to this MetaMask page. No fees on here, but you have to confirm it. So we are just going to click confirm as well uh, and then go back to the ZK EVM wallet. Now that looks to have succeeded on the Polygon side as well. So as you can see completed right here, we can go back to our MetaMask and we can refresh this. And from there you can see in our activity right here, we do have that claim asset from the Polygon side, if you see the assets right here, the 0.01 ETH that I trans transferred over is now in the Polygon ZK EVM. Now from here, we can use any application built on this network just like normal. I'll show you QuickSwap as an example. This is pretty much the only application built on this chain right now. In the future, there are gonna be many more. So by the time you're watching this, the app that you wanna use might be on here. We'll go to the top right and click Polygon ZK EVM. Polygon here is the proof of stake chain, so ZK EVM. Uh, and then if we go to ETH, it should actually recognize that I do have some ETH in my wallet, 0.01. So you can just uh, switch that into another token if you wanna select, uh, let's say US dollar Tether, you wanna switch an amount in here, so 0.005 or something like that. Um, it should let you obviously go through that swap. I won't go through that for right now, but that is how to get tokens onto the Polygon ZK AVM and actually link it up to use applications. Check the Binance and Bybit deposit bonuses down in the description. Those other helpful videos listed down there as well. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.